what happens if Betelgeuse explodes? So Betelgeuse is a red supergiant star that's uh, located about 700 light years from where we are, from our solar system, which means that if we shine a beam of light at that star, it will take that light 700 years to reach there. And it also means that what we are seeing from that star right now is what actually happened there 700 years ago. So this is a red supergiant star. It's about 700 times the diameter of the sun and it's about 10 million or so years old and it is in the last stages of its lifespan. It is a star that uh, that uh, is known to brighten and dim uh, erratically, sporadically and it is uh, expected to go supernova soon, which means it will explode soon. Now, when will this happen? It could happen tomorrow, it could happen next week, or it could happen sometime in the next 100,000 years, 1 lakh years. So when this star explodes, first of all, it is not a threat to us. A star would need to go supernova some, somewhere in the, in, the vicinity, in the vicinity of 50 or so light years for it to pose a possible threat to the solar system and to us living on this planet. This star, when it explodes, it is not going to be a threat to us, but it's going to uh, give a give a very interest, very a spectacular light show. So it will shine with the intensity of almost the moon, or maybe half the moon. And when we see the moon in the sky, it's it's this big, right? But this star, when it explodes, all that light will come from a single point because it's so far away. So it's going to be a very bright point in the sky, a very luminous point. It's going to be visible in the daytime for several months. And it will be visible in the night sky for like two or three years, perhaps. So that's what's going to happen. And it is situated in the Orion constellation. So after it goes supernova and it dies, that star will vanish from there. So that's what happens when this star explodes. 99% of the energy of the supernova explosion will be in the form of neutrinos, which are invisible. These are weakly interacting particles. So when this, uh, this neutrino wave reaches us, we'll be able to study uh, the well, some of the physics and dynamics of the supernova explosion, but for all of us, it's going to be a very interesting show, uh, show in the sky, very beautiful light show. So that's what happens when it explodes. It will explode sometime in the next one lakh years.